So if you do much cooking, you've probably experienced the issue that chopping onions cause your eyes to uncomfortably water. Now it's obviously a chemical that's being released from a part of the onion that is causing this reaction. So what is the chemical? Where is it in the onion? How does the chemical interact with the eyes? And what can be done about it? Well, the genus of allium plants, which does include garlic and onions, have a chemical called alanase stored in their cell walls. This alanase is a volatile chemical which the plant uses as a deterrence against being eaten. However, in cooking, it also gives the food some of the desired flavouring. So in a way, the more an onion makes your eyes react, the more flavour is likely to be contributing to your food. Now, in addition to alanase in the cell walls, the onions have amino acids with a sulfoxide group attached to them inside the cells. Once the cell walls are broken, these amino acids react with the alanase to create a form of sulfenic acid. This acid is then released from the onions in the form of a gas, and it's that gas that can reach your eyes. The human body then attempts to protect the eyes from the acid by diluting the acid, trying to flush it away from the exposed surface of the eyeball. So since it's this acid making contact with your eyeball that causes your eyes to water, this action then gives us an insight into the various methods of reducing the impact of onions on your eyes. So you can wear goggles or protective glasses which stop or reduce the contact with the eyes. But since there's a gas involved, unless full goggles are used, it may not reduce the impact that much. You can also have a fan or another device that blows the vapour being created by the onions away from your eyes. You can also chill the onions before chopping them, so it slows down the chemical reaction. The colder you get the onions, the greater the reduction will be. This may, may make chopping the onions more difficult. However, one of the key actions to avoid is wiping your eyes with your hands, even if parts of it, your hands have been in direct contact with the onions, so the chemicals will cover a large part of your hands and wrists. Finally, the way to reduce the amount of acid produced is actually to reduce the amount of damage done to the cell walls of the onion. It's going to be used by having a very, very sharp knife and only by making a very few cuts to the onion. Hopefully this helps in making cooking with onions a little bit easier than it was before.